Hi guys and welcome to a highly requested what I eat in a day video. Okay, so first things first, I'm on intermittent fasting. So my first meal is happening pretty late. It is 2.30 p.m. right now. Uh, you guys know I talked about my intermittent fasting, what I do, how I do, how like all of my personal experiences in a recent video. I urge you to please go and first watch that video if you haven't already because I've answered a lot of your questions that you guys sent to me uh, across social media on Instagram mainly actually. And um, you'll get an idea of why I'm eating as much as I'm eating and the time clocks I'm eating in, like the time duration I'm eating in. I'll give you guys timestamps of everything I'm eating. Keep in mind that this is a corona edition of my what I eat in a day video. I will do like an updated version of this maybe in a couple of months and I think I should do this as a regular series. Uh, the eating pattern I'm observing right now is not just random and erratic. It's also just very blah in all honesty. I'm trying to maintain a balance between um, eating my junk that makes me happy and uh, also eating healthy. So you'll see a little bit of everything from that angle. But um, like it's damn random because I don't have a cook. I'm cooking on my own. I'm cooking twice a day. That's the fine part. But I'm also cooking only basis the stock I currently have in the house, the groceries I have at home. Uh, I'm trying to make the most of the groceries I have and not go and do like random excessive shopping. I don't want to do that. I don't want to be a hoarder. Um, so you will be seeing like a bunch of different things. There are a couple of things that I'll take you through. I'll probably also take you through my cooking. Um, yeah, okay. So let's go into this video. What I eat in a day, the Corona edition. Okay, so the first thing I'm kicking the day off with is a little bit of uh, seeds, super seeds and almonds over here. I usually also throw in dates if I'm about to go for a workout, but since I'm not, I'm skipping the dates and just going into this bowl that has pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds. It has some kalonji. I don't know what it's called in English. Kalonji seeds, a few of them, which is supposed to be great with immunity and some almonds, which we call badams in Hindi. They're supposed to be great for memory and God knows I need them. My first proper meal of the day is kheer and some puris. Now I have to be honest and tell you, I have finished my puris in this home quarantine self-isolation period. I have some leftover kheer puri from the other night that has my last puri inside it. So I'm just going to make a mishmash of these two. Um, this is something that my mom made last week and kheer you can have for as long as possible as long as you keep it nicely in the fridge. So I'm definitely going to have this. This is sort of like my breakfast since naturally I have not eaten anything since morning. Okay, I'm really hungry, so let me dive right into this stuff, guys. Okay, so it's time for like lunch lunch and this is clearly a late lunch. I am in the kitchen and I was actually in the mood to have fries and I obviously cannot have fries for lunch. Um, so I'm like semi hungry. I wanted to have something with potatoes in it. So what I'm going to do is fry potatoes with bhindi. Okay, so I have my oil here on the kadhai. I'm going to put the gas on and I like to cook most of my things on like a slow flame so I'm gonna move this over to being a slow flame um, I have my baby potatoes chopped up over here and I have some bhindi kept over here I already have a little bit of salt in this it's great to fry your uh, bhindi if you already have a little bit of salt in it it adds more flavor I'm simply going to go in and cook like fry these two up um, yeah, that's literally all I'm going to do and then I'm going to add some masalas a little bit later which I'll show you after I'm done frying. You hear the sound of the food frying. I absolutely love that sound. I'm a huge fan of, of fried food and I know that it's not the healthiest thing in the world but to be honest, like, I love it. So I make up for it by making sure I eat my fruits and everything but 
I can't give up on side food, yeah. If you guys have seen my intermittent fasting video, you know that um, I love my food. So I'm not going to compromise on the kind of food I like that tastes yummy. But I'll add in more food that is healthy and that's good for the body. Like I don't want to pick between basically. I want my diet to be a well-balanced diet that gives me both. Thoda ye, thoda bo types. So now I'm just gonna leave this on the gas. It is now on mid, like it's not on the high flame, it's not on the very low flame, it's sort of in the middle right now. Um, I'm just gonna leave it on for a few minutes and then take it off and drain the oil off. Okay, so we're taking out the bhindi a little earlier than the potatoes because bhindi gets done much faster. If you don't want to do a segregation like this, you can always cook them separately, fry them separately. The potatoes definitely need more time to be um, to be fried. Fun fact, by the way, I'm not a huge fan of bhindis unless they're fried. My favorite form and probably only form of actually enjoying eating bhindi is when they're fried. I don't otherwise love bhindis too much. Um, but I love potatoes. If you love potatoes as well, go ahead and tell me in the comments below. I could eat potatoes every single day for the rest of my life. Okay, so as you can see, the potatoes have got a little red brownish thing going for it. So they're nicely fried, cooked. I like them like this. On some days, like depending on what mood I'm in, I sometimes leave them to get even more red, to be honest. Um, I think we're going to pull these out now because they have been fried really nicely. We're back on the slow flame as well. I'm now going to... I've put the gas off and I'm now going to take the aloo out now I'm someone who doesn't mind a little bit just a little bit of the oil because I find the food really dry I know this is really strange guys like normally when I'm like serving for someone else also I'll take all of the oil out in a tissue and then I'll serve it but I actually enjoy the grease just a little bit I absolutely know how crazy this sounds um, because most people will take the oil completely off my mom is going to have a heart attack when she sees this video um but i like a little bit of that wet feel and i'll show you why in just a sec this is not like a random thing if you're serving this to someone or don't like the oil yourself please obviously put it on a tissue first and then serve it uh but i'll tell you why i like there to be just a little bit of oil because I'm about to put some masalas in it and it'll get really dry if I don't leave any oil inside. Give me a second, I'm about to show you. Okay, so I like that it's just a touch wet because now when I put the salt in, I put a little extra salt because I really like that flavor. I'm also about to put quite a bit of mirchi in here. Lal mirchi, red spice, whatever you want to call it. It's basically red mirchi powder this can be absolutely anything you're used to the one we use at home is everest um and then with a fork or a spoon or whatever you have just shake it up and see it's not going red i like my potatoes to actually go a little red with the mirchi i like for my potatoes to be like red spicy this is the only thing i love spice in my potatoes I'm like that weird person, by the way, that can't do green spice. Like, I can't do hari mirchi at all. But, uh, but I love my lal mirchi. Especially with potatoes. Okay, so there you go. This is what my meal looks like. Fried potato and bhindi. Not really giving myself points for any kind of uh, presentation, but it's yummy food that I can promise. Okay, my evening meal for the day is musambi. Now I have to tell you, eating it like this took me some time. My mom's house, they cut musambi a little bit differently, so I grew up eating it a little bit differently. Uh, but Jotsna cuts it differently. I'm okay with it. The taste is the same. That's what matters. Um, I try to eat one fruit every evening. Today's fruit is musambi. On some days I eat apples. So it really depends on what I'm in the mood for. Um, thankfully I stocked up on some musambi a while back and like I said, I'm just making the most of the groceries that we have at home instead of hoarding up. Hi guys, so it is almost 7pm and I'm about to have some chai. 
I feel like I should just sit down and talk to you guys a little bit about like my food habits and where they come from since this is my first what I eat in a day video. Even though it's a Corona edition, I feel like I just want to give you guys some context. Um, I used to have like about little more than half a cup of chai. I don't know if you'll be able to see. I mean, wait, I'll have to take a picture from my phone to show you. But this is basically like quarter cup of chai over here. There's very little chai. I just have the chai for that little um, that taste, that kick of taste, and that's it. I've never really been a chai like die hard. Can't live without chai. No, I can live without chai. Um, I was never allowed chai actually growing up. My mom wouldn't give me tea, coffee, uh, for that matter, which is probably the most amazing thing because I never became like a caffeine addict or a caffeine junkie like so many of my friends. Um, I actually also was not allowed sodas, carbonated drinks for very, very long. That's probably why I've even to date I don't drink Pepsi, Coke, Sprite. Um, there are very few occasions when I'm having like greasy Chinese food, but I want that little sip of Sprite on the side. I will not gravitate towards those. Is what I'm trying to say. In my entire life, I'm 28 years old. I must have had like two full bottles of carbonated drinks. That's a safe assumption for me to make. Um, I don't know. I've just never been into like. Can you hear the birds? With everyone on home lockdown, they must be like no humans. Make more noise. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Food, drinks. Uh, yeah, so I never was into it. I've never been an alcohol drinker ever. So I guess like my mom just kind of kept me in like a really healthy, disciplined practice all my life, and that worked well for me. Um, chai like there's like, this much in at the moment. So just a little bit to sip. Can I also tell you a funny story? I don't make the best chai. The last time I attempted to make chai was three years ago. I don't make good chai. I make amazing coffee, but I don't drink coffee. There's a lot of irony over here, um, and I can't make coffee for Jerry because Jerry only does black coffee. There's nothing to make. But I make like pour overs for him every once in a while. But barring that, there's like. There's nothing more to it, you know what I mean. Um, but I like chai. I like one little bit of chai every day, um, if I can. And in the nights, I usually tend to have like a green tea or something like that. We'll figure what I'll be having later today. But like, I do a lot of uh, ocha. I do a lot of TGL. Uh, these are just chais that I really enjoy. Green tea. They usually they're those dip dip ones. Um, uh, if I'm having the cook ones, then I love the TDT ones. I'll take you through my tea bar, like my tea drawer in the kitchen later today. Actually, that might be a good idea. I have a drawer full of like loads of chai variety, and those are like the slightly like fancier chais. They're not like chai. They're like the green tea variety of rose tea, matcha tea, that kind of stuff. So I'll um, take you through that a little today. But I wanted to tell you, just to give you a little bit of context on food. Uh, growing up, I did not enjoy eating food at all. You know, they say, do you live to eat or do you eat to live? I was just eating to live. Like I just didn't enjoy my food. I feel like I really started enjoying food um, once I got into college, maybe. I think it was that bahar khane wali adat that really got to me, and then um, I think it was in one of I think it was my summer holidays after the 10th standard. I did my first proper cooking course, and uh, I learned how to make Italian and gourmet food. Of course, it was a basics beginners course, which was about three months long. They taught us about um, wine pairings and alcohol pairings to go with your food. That part, which my brain has completely forgotten, because I. Don't understand and know much about alcohol, um, but having said that, like my food things have stayed with me. Plus, my nani and my mom, um, my grandma and my mom are both amazing, amazing cooks. Like back in the 80s, my mom when she was newly married, my dad's side of the family when they lived in the joint family for the first three years, I think, after getting married, my mom would cook food for like 30 people, 40 people. And then they would have at least 10-15 guests home every day. Basically, my grandfather's house, that joint family home, there was always something or the other happening. So my my mom actually learned to cook 
um, after she got engaged to Papa. It was a combination of my nani and one of my dad's brothers used to be um, a chef or a really good cook or something like that. He's not a chef now, but I think he was a really good cook. I don't think he did it professionally. So they trained my mom and um, she's fantastic. So I feel like I get that little cooking intuition thing from her, which by the way, I should tell you, um, from the whole self quarantine with Anam series, because like I'm doing so much of content right now, I uh, uploaded my first cooking video today on um, on on Instagram. Wait, has my camera lost focus? Okay, I hope my camera is still in focus. Um, I uploaded my first cooking video today on IGTV. I shot one more, so I'm gonna put that up. I'll link these things for you guys down below in the info box because. If you are, um, if you enjoy looking at like me cooking and recipes, you should definitely check that out. Okay, so I'm gonna go have my chai. Um, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys for my next snack, meal, cheat, whatever it is, a little later. Hi guys, down to dinner. It is about 9, 9.15 p.m. and um, it's time to eat some khana. I was actually initially going to make chicken keema tonight. I told you guys I would be cooking something for dinner but I've gotten really caught up with work. Um, you know like how everyone else is chilling more during the self-quarantine period? I'm not. I'm trying to do more videos than usual so I really hope that um, I really hope that it pays off all of the work and effort that's going into it but basically I did not land up cooking dinner tonight um, I was gonna cook chicken hima like I said there is instead there's some leftover butter chicken from uh, last night I'm gonna go ahead and have that I'm gonna give you guys a glimpse of it so here's some uh, butter chicken and the paratha looks more like a roti but I really don't know how to make parathas correctly and Jyotsna is making them so I'm just going with it and uh, I'm gonna eat this. I really really want to have dessert dessert tonight. I would normally just do like um to satisfy my sweet tooth craving I would normally probably just do like apple with some homemade peanut butter I make homemade peanut butter and just stock it in my fridge um, which is a really easy thing to do you guys should totally try it um, but I feel like tonight I'm gonna treat myself to a little Lay's and Nutella even though it isn't a Sunday uh, let's hope I feel like that even after finishing this and within my IF window I have about an hour and a half ish left Okay, I'm giving in and allowing myself to have some Lay's and Nutella today. I promise you, if you have never had it, have it. I call it Laytella. One of my assistants came up with that term three years ago. And um, I freaking love it. Blue Lay's with Nutella. By the way, my Nutella is down to like barely like this much at this point. Um, when I do make a grocery run at some point, I'm definitely going to get another one. Um, I usually don't allow myself to have this except for Sundays or like a weekend kind of a thing. Today's just been a really long day and I sort of want to like give myself a little leeway and have this. Um, yeah, so girl's gonna go dive into dipping some blue leaves into Nutella right about now. Okay, it's around midnight and I wanted some green tea. I promised you guys I would take you through one of my chai drawers. So here it is. Um, these are a lot of the just dip dip green teas, rose teas, um, glow ocha teas, um, some tea box teas over here. So like these are the ready dip ones and then a lot of the rest of the stuff over here is stuff that you have to cook. I'm not going to go for those because I want a quick fix right now and I want something that I can get good sleep with. So for example something like this over here. There's, this is uh, mountain rose black tea. I think I'm gonna go with it. I was gonna show you a bunch of options, but one sec, I'll take you through a few options anyway. So this, for example, is spiced ginger or green tea. And then there's mountain rose. Okay, I already showed you this. We've got um, different types of green teas and stuff, essentially. See, this is fresh mint jubilee green tea. Um, basically there's like mixed set of teas over here. We've got some mint matcha over here, which is new. I haven't tried this one yet. We've got um, basically a lot of different flavors over here. Christmas campfire. Some rose teas, which I love by the way. 
uh, a lot of sand chart tea so I love variety in teas clearly okay so I've got my water here and I'm gonna just dip this through and my green tea should be ready in like 30 seconds I hope so as you can see, I eat for the 8 hour period, this is my intermittent fasting and if I feel like having something before I go to bed, I have some green tea uh, or some rose tea, um, I'm having mountain rose black tea tonight so that's what I'm going with. I'm going to take the chai and go inside and sit with Jerry for some time and then fall asleep. It's around midnight and I really want to sleep. My to-do list for today was really long so I got through most of it but there are a few things that have been pushed to tomorrow. Um, but that's okay that happens the good thing is I have nowhere to go and I'm home and well I can't say I have a lot of time because I'm kind of upping the number of things I'm doing also while I'm on self quarantine so we'll figure that out but I hope this gives you a good idea of what I eat in a day corona edition I will come back and do this um, hopefully after corona is gone after the lockdown is gone hopefully uh, and hopefully i'm gonna do a series also i really hope you guys have enjoyed this if you want to see more of this let me know in the comments and then we'll kind of figure from there i love you guys so much thank you for watching don't forget to hit that bell button before you go away bye guys good night to me